Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech and this is the tips and tricks video on OnePlus One. So guys, I made two parts of it. I'll leave a link for the other part in the description area. So do check that out. So let's get started. So guys, this is the OnePlus X device. Starting right off, we have some nice screen gestures. So simply double tap on the screen to wake up the screen. And we can draw O on it to open the camera. So there we have it, the camera. And next, if we draw V on it, it will turn on the flash. If we do that again, it will turn it off. And we have some more gestures like if we swipe using two fingers, it will play or pause the music. And if we... Something's playing in the background. And now it's paused. We can also do other gestures like a greater than or a less than symbol to go to next or previous video so anyway these are all the gestures that you get you can turn them on or off by going into settings which I'll be showing you in a minute so let me just turn on the device and now this is your lock screen and you have some shortcuts down below so on the left we have the dialer on the center we have a lock on the right we have the camera so if you simply swipe right it will open up the dialer and if you swipe left it will open up the camera if you swipe up it will unlock the device and and while you are in the lock screen you can simply swipe down to see all your notifications and you can swipe them to dismiss them And next if you swipe down once again you'll get your toggles over here so let's go to the desktop or the home launcher so this is not actually the home launcher this is the TSF shell so to go to your home launcher you can go to settings and you have an option that says home simply select that and you can choose your default home launcher so let me just show you the oneplus one launcher So guys this is the oneplus one home launcher very similar to the stock launcher or google now launcher but instead of the google now on the left we have something called as a shelf so these are my recent apps and below it we can find the frequent contacts if you don't want any of these cards simply swipe them to remove them and if you want to add more simply press this plus button and you can add from here so as of now it's showing simply the recent or the frequent apps and the frequent contacts we might get something new over time so that's the shelf and these are our home screens if you want to remove any of the home screen simply make sure you remove all the app shortcuts and widgets from that screen and it will be removed as you can see this is the last home screen now so in that way we can add or remove home screens and next if we press and hold anywhere on the screen we'll get additional options to rearrange the apps to change the wallpaper to add widgets or go to settings so guys this top thing or the top bar is called as a status bar and if we swipe from that we'll get the notifications so these are our notifications and these are our toggles if you simply press on them it will turn on or turn off those settings and if you want additional options or additional settings you can simply press and hold on them and you will go to the settings page so additionally you can rearrange these toggles but unfortunately you can't add any more of them so to rearrange simply press this button over here and now you can simply move these toggles you don't need to even long press them Additionally, you have these two toggles. One is for the hotspot and the other one is for invert color. And once you're done, simply press this button once again and everything is fixed. So let me just show you by inverting the colors. So this is what it looks when you invert them. So I like the dark mode, so I'll leave it to that. So guys, these are the notifications and we have normal notifications and persistent notifications. So a normal notification when we swipe them they will go, they are simply dismissed 
but these are the persistent notifications which won't go and will always be running in the background so if you don't want to see any persistent notification or any notification at all you can block them in two ways so simply press and hold on any of the notification and you'll see this i button on the right simply press on that and you'll go to the app notification settings so you can choose how to display these notifications and if you wish you can completely block this notification by enabling this toggle now if you'd see the gsam battery monitor app notification is gone so let me turn that on again so now we don't have it because i need to run it once more so now we have a toggle so guys out of the box we don't have any special apps from oneplus so all that we have is the home launcher with this shelf and the rest of the things are stock apps and you won't get any bloatware i guess you get additionally a swift key keyboard inbuilt let me just check that out so out of the box you get swift key pre-installed so let's go to settings and show you what this phone can do so coming to the wi-fi i guess this has a dual band let me just turn it on so no this has a single band wi-fi it can detect access points only at 2.4 gigahertz additionally if you want to save some more battery and turn off wi-fi when the display is turned off simply go to menu select advanced you have this option over here that says keep wi-fi on during sleep simply set it to never so now whenever your display turns off your wi-fi will be turned off and whenever your display is turned on your wi-fi is turned on automatically if it was on earlier you can also customize it using other automation apps so guys if you are using this device as a dual sim phone and if you want to change sim card settings you need to come to this location and over here you can choose your default sim for calls sms and for cellular data so if we go to more we have the option to choose the default sms app simply select this option and now you can select your default messaging app over here you have option to create a portable hotspot and even connect to a vpn so if you scroll down we have this home option as i've just shown you using this settings we can change the default home launcher so this is the oneplus launcher so if i go if i press the home button i'm in the oneplus launcher and if i want to go to tsf shell launcher then i'll simply select this option and when i press home button it will take me to the tsf shell launcher next if we go to buttons we have the option to enable or disable the on screen navigation bar so if i enable this we get this navigation bar down below and the hardware capacitor buttons will be disabled so as you can see nothing's happening now so option additionally we have this option to swap buttons so if it is disabled we have the back button over here and the recent button over here out of the box this will be the default position of these buttons so if you are used to having back button over here and recent button over here simply enable this option to swap them additionally you can enable just the home screen capacitive button by enabling this toggle now if i press the home button on the capacitive panel so it's taking me to the home launcher so if i want to disable it go to the same location and disable this toggle so as long as we have this on screen navigation buttons we are missing out on some shortcuts so let me disable them now i have this option for long press and double tap so i have set my home screen to open up app dialer when i long press it so as you can see i have opened app dialer if you want you can change it to open your phone dialer or google or any app so let me change the double tap action let me put the device to sleep when i double tap the home button turn off the screen so when i double tap the home button the display simply turns off so you can change any of those settings by coming to the button section let's go back if we go to the gestures we have all these gestures that is double tap to wake open camera toggle flashlight and music control so if you are having any display related issues like if your display simply turns on when your phone is in your pocket or 
if the flash turns on for some reason simply disable these options and simply enable whatever you want or else you can simply turn off all the gestures by disabling this toggle if we go to display we have the option to enable or disable auto brightness from here i don't know why google has kept it over here it would have been great if there was a small check box over here like most other devices so from here we can change the brightness levels you can change the wallpaper of the device and the lock screen you can change you can change the sleep policy so guys we have this option that says ambient display so if you enable it when you get a notification your screen simply turns on and shows you the notification in black and white mode so let me just give you a quick preview of that knock knock so guys i just got a notification and the display simply turns on and turns off so that's ambient display for you so additionally we have something called as proximity wake if you enable it you can do some gesture like this and it will simply wake the device and show you the notifications and we can change the size of the font from here let me set it to huge and this is what a huge font looks like let's go back to normal we can set the device to portrait or landscape or auto rotate from this option over here and finally over here we have the screencast option so we even have a toggle for that screencast so we have a chromecast over here so anyway let's go on there is another part of the same video which is just a continuation of this so i'll leave a